Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy, back with another video for the new Boston. Now, in the last part of the tutorial, we created our table, which is inside our database called a database. We um, created a table called users, then we inserted some manual data in, just so we can test our login process. So we're going to write a process to log this user in. Um, and uh, we inserted this data here, the username uh, with Alex, the password was this MD5 hash, which we'll deal with later, and we've got first name and surname. So we've got um, our hash for security reasons. Uh, when we're logging in, let's just get rid of this that we used earlier. When we're logging in, we need to convert the, the uh, password that the user specifies and um, see if that matches the same hash, because as you know, MD5 is a one-way algorithm and the uh, result will always be the same. Okay, so um, we need to think about how we're going to set up our files. Now, I'm going to have an index.php, which is going to check if the user's logged in and display specific content if they are logged in or if they're not logged in. So we're going to have something similar to the following. We're going to say, if logged in, display something. Otherwise, display something else. We could even use an if, um, if else, if statement or if else if sorry and we could say not logged in and we're going to create this function which is going to check to see if session data exists or if a session has been set and if the session isn't empty so uh, we'll get rid of that for now but that's just a general idea we're going to sort of say uh, in here we're going to say something like welcome and maybe specify the user's name here um, and then for this, we're going to say, uh, please log in, okay? Um, and perhaps display our login form. So we'll leave index.php for now. We're going to create a new file which is going to connect to our database. So let's say connect.inc.php. We'll call that connect.inc.php. So the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, specify the host name, the um, username and the password so mysql host in my case that's equal to localhost and in most cases that is if you're running on a local server if you're trying to connect to a remote database you'll need to specify the host name but for now it's localhost for me the mysql user is called root this is these are the default settings and because i'm using default settings my password is equal to nothing Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to specify what table we're going to connect to. And that is, or the database, sorry, MySQL database. Uh, the database is called A underscore database. And this uh, is found, let's just pop into PHP my admin here. So A underscore database. Okay, so now we can connect. So I'm going to say if MySQL connect, and then we can pop our variables in here. So the first variable is MySQL host. That's the first argument we pass through to this uh, MySQL connect function. Um, and then we say MySQL user. And then we say MySQL password. So if uh, this function connects successfully, anything inside this block here will be executed. So we can then say, um, uh, let's say if MySQL connect, and then we can say, um, uh, we could say and MySQL select database and the database we've obviously predefined in this variable MySQL DB. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this around and I'm going to say if this is unsuccessful or this is unsuccessful then we want to kill the page and we want to specify the um, MySQL error. Uh, and that's with brackets there. So this uh, we're, we're echoing out the contents of this function or the, the value returned from this function, which is the error last received from uh, MySQL. So if either of these don't connect, so if we don't connect to the database itself, uh, the uh, server itself, or we don't select the database correctly, then we kill with an error. Otherwise, we just carry on with our code normally. So we're going to declare or require this file at the top of everywhere where we need to connect. And the reason we do this is if we had, say, 5, 10 files here, instead of writing this code 5 or 10 times, we just include this file here. 
So let's go ahead and test this connect.ink.php by including it inside um, index.php. But I'm going to require it so we kill the page if this page, if this file cannot be found. So connect.ink.php. Uh, let's come on to our browser and refresh the page. Okay, you can see that nothing's come up, so hopefully we haven't returned an error. But now let's force an error. So I'm going to um, put local host instead of local host. Let's refresh. And you can see that unknown MySQL server host localized. So we've retrieved an error. So, okay, let's change that back and we'll change the database name to a database one. And let's refresh. And you can see we've returned an error saying this is an unknown database. So we know that either way, if we don't connect to the server correctly or we don't select our database correctly, we always echo a MySQL error out. Now, upon completion of development, you may want to change this to a um, error message in here as a string. Um, this just means that then uh, it's a bit more user friendly for your users rather than outputting uh, the cont or the return value of MySQL error function. So for now, connect.ink.php is uh, complete. So now what we want to do is we want to um, create um, a page where the user can log in. So I'm going to create this as an include file. So what I can do is then in this if statement that I create inside index.php, I want to show that um, I want to show that uh, form, if you like, uh, to the user. So let's go ahead and open up a new file. We'll start some PHP tags, and I'm going to call this um, login form dot ink dot PHP. So let's go ahead and start creating uh, the form itself. Um, let's go down and start to create our form. So this form is called. Oh, and just by the way, these includes depend on how your website works. So when we're using, uh, let's say, form action equals something there which we'll end our form when we say form action i'm going to specify the page that this is currently included in so evident um eventually this is going to this action is going to equal index.php but i'm actually going to be uh, using um, one of the predefined server variables to determine which page this is included in uh, if that doesn't make sense now it will do later but for now our method's going to be post um okay so our action what's going to happen here um, we need to specify a variable up here uh, that's going to tell us what um, our page is logged in, uh, what what page we are currently on. Uh, in fact, I might create a new um, a new file uh, called we'll call this core.ink.php, and we'll include some just variables, uh, some predefined variables in here.